Hey everyone, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to Relevant Jukebox. So, man, we are halfway through 2020. It's kind of hard to believe this has felt like it's been more than a year at this point. So I wanted to make a video updating you guys on what I think were the best records to come out so far in 2020. And it hasn't necessarily been an amazing year for music, in my opinion, at least comparative to like 2019 and 2018. Not as many like standout releases, but still a lot of good stuff coming out. And I have 10 records that I'm going to highlight in this video here, not necessarily in any order. I just wanted to give a shout out to my 10 favorites so far. And also I wanted to give a shout out to all the subscribers out there, all the new subscribers that have joined recently. I wanted to say thank you. And if you are new to my channel, it'd be awesome if you could consider subscribing or drop a like and share. Anything like that really helps along the way. So without further ado, let's get into this list here. Starting off with Heaven to a Tortured Mind by Eve Toomer. I thought this was a really solid follow-up to Safe in the Hands of Love. It's a really cool experimental blend of glam rock, electronic music. I mean, it's kind of all over the place, but it does have a really cool sound to it, I think, and better songs have been brought to the table by Eve this time around. Next up, Deerhoof's Future Teenage Cave Artists. Now, I heard the singles to this record when they first dropped, and I, like, really enjoyed them, and then when I got the rest of the record, it was just, like, so much to unpack. The songwriting's very off-kilter and confusing, at times, but Deerhoof is still playing around with a lot of cool sonic experimentation and some really sweet hooks are woven in as well. And yeah, I mean, I just keep continuing to revisit this record. It keeps growing on me as time goes by. Also wanted to give a shout out to Against All Logic's 2017 through 2019. Nicholas Jar just keeps finding ways to create house music that's a little bit left field and futuristic. And I think he took a lot more risks on this album that did pay off for the most part. Also the track Penny, uh, that track still continues to just have this deep emotional impact with my soul. I mean, I think that is my favorite song of 2020 so far. I mean, it just does not get old. Next up is Shy's Obscura. Now, this is a release that dropped earlier in the year, and it is a really awesome, relaxing, ambient record that fuses a lot of sounds of nature in there. And I mean, the way that 2020 has played out so far, this was kind of like the calm before the storm of everything else that started happening. But still, I love to put this record on either in the morning or at night, and it feels like I'm getting transported out onto a lake or something. I mean, it's just beautiful. Also wanted to give a shout out to the newest record from Cindy Lee, What's Tonight to Eternity. Whoo, boy, I mean, this record is just so, like, odd and darkly tortured. I mean, it's like listening to a doo-wop nightmare. And I think somebody pointed out in my comments on the review of this record that uh, it sounds like somebody made another recreated soundtrack to The Shining, which is a very fitting description. But I can't help but just admire the the song craft and the time that must have went into making a release sound like this, but it still sounds like nothing else that's come out this year. Next up is Arca's 62 minute long single, Diva Experimental FM, I believe it's called. Now, obviously this is a single, but I'm gonna count this one as a record because it is 62 minutes long and you can find a comprehensive breakdown of a track list out there that Arca did release. So it's kind of like a full length in disguise and it is just absolutely mind blowing front to back. It's kind of like Death Grips Steroids Mega Mix on steroids, honestly. But if you give this single or album the time of day, the progression that it takes and all the detours that you find on here are just absolutely mind-bending. Some of the sound play is off the walls. Next up is Charlie XCX's How I'm Feeling Now. Charlie's quarantine album was an absolute banger, in my opinion. Right up there toe-to-toe -to -toe with Charlie and even Pop 2. And if all of this is true, that it was conceived during quarantine and it was stitched together in like under two months, that just blows me away even more because it really does kind of feel like being contained with a lot of emotions in a quarantine state. And Anthems has got to be the quarantine 2020 banger. Next up is MoMA Ready's Gallery S. This is another record that dropped earlier in the year coming out of the Brooklyn dance scene. It is a really pummeling and sort of relentless listen front to back. Really aggressive, but some really awesome samples woven in. And I just like how chaotic and aggressive everything comes off. Also, one one of the more recent records to drop on this list, Backwash's God Has Nothing to Do With This, Leave Him Out of It. Whew, I mean, just a supremely dark and tortured hip hop record coming from Backwash over here. The instrumentals have this witchy black magic kind of vibe radiating out of them and Backwash's performances ex complement that so well. There's also some really awesome guest appearances on here from both Black Dresses members. But yeah, if you're looking for like 
aggressive hip hop in the vein of like death grips or anything like that I think you should check out this record if you have not heard it already and rounding out this batch of records I wanted to highlight from the first half of 2020 was from the gardens kiss my Super Bowl ring <laughs> now this is another record that is a little rough around the edges and all over the place I will admit but I do love how they are combining all of these wildly different genres into some weird punk like electronic kind of tracks i mean it's almost hard to pin down does remind me of the first time that i heard 100 gex and as sloppy as this thing came off in the first pass it really was the hooks that got me to pay attention and really return to it and is overall just kind of a fun listen i don't know i don't really think you have to take this album super seriously so there you have it that's my list of 10 of my favorite records that have been released so far in 2020. Lots of good albums have come out that I didn't put on this list, obviously, but I will have links in my description box for reviews for all of these records if you're interested in checking them out. Also, drop a comment down below. What are your favorite albums of the year so far in 2020? I'd really be curious to see what your list looks like. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and share. If you want more content from me, hit that subscribe button. Peace.